This is Crystal Marshall from Marshall Studio Photography. I'm going to teach you how to do a really simple beginning handwritten type of typography thing on Illustrator, especially if you don't know anything about Illustrator, just starting out. Adobe products are totally worth getting. You can try them for 30 days for free. If you are a homeschooler or educator or student, you can get all the apps, which is over 20 different creative apps for $19.99 a month. So that's awesome. I was paying $50 a month just being a regular person, but as soon as I started homeschooling, I bumped down to $19.99 a month. So that was great. So here I am with my mouse. I do have a Wacom tablet that I got for $50 off of Amazon, but I don't know why it's not really connecting with my laptop right now. I need to troubleshoot that with the driver. So I'm just going to do this with a basic mouse. So we're going to take our uh, brush tool. We're going to set it. Um, this is off, so I'm going to click this X button. I'm going to click the border button. Black is fine. We can change that later. Right here, we pull down the menu. If you don't have that up, what you can do is go up here to Window and Brushes. Click that on. You can find a variety of brushes that come with your program, or you can go to all your library here. So if I really like uh, that style of brush, let's pretend that we didn't have one that we really liked. So you're going to double click on it. Hold on. Double click on it. Why isn't it letting me? Or you can click new. Let's try this. A new uh, calligraphy brush. Let's do... Play around with this. I really like this particular angle. Now, if we do it kind of a slanted random is nice. So that way it has more of a handwritten flow to it. We're going to click on this is a really cool tool over here. You can do different effects. So let's see. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. I personally like this one as my favorite. Let's do it at one point. Let's see how that goes. That's pretty cool. So we're just going to start off with a really simple phrase. It can be anything you want. It could be, you know, let your conscience be your guide, or faith, trust, and a little pixie dust, or whatever. So I just, I, I saw, you know, heard this song on the radio recently. I always hear this song at weddings. So I thought that would, this would be a really cool handwritten typography font. Let's see. I really would like cursive. Let me see this. That's really hard to do this with a mouse, which is why I like using my Wacom tablet. Hmm. I'm doing Control Z. So I'm really particular about how I want my letters to look. Okay. Let's see. Cool. Now I feel like this is a really big uh, line. Let's do this at half. Just playing around with the feel of this. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. Loves. All. I like that. I want to make the F. And let's say I make a mistake, but I want to do the whole thing. I click on the eraser tool, double click, make it a little bit bigger, and I can just kind of erase a little bit of that. That's pretty cool. But I don't really like that, so I can just highlight it. I'm going to just actually write it out. So I'm going to click back on the pen brush tool. But I like the heart 
symbol. It's kind of cool. I like that. Okay, that's cool. This is nice. All right, so let's say I like this. Now, personally, I don't like to keep the paintbrush tool as lines. So what we're going to do is going to do object, rasterize, transparent, and I'll show you what it does. It makes it all together. You're going to do image, trace, silhouettes, expand. All right, so now everything is a is an image. Okay, so you can bring it over here, you can bring it over here. Everything is connected like an image. Now what I'm doing is I'm doing shift, hold shift and drag to kind of make everything fit in this space. I would, oh, I'm doing a, the little arrow. Now the, the difference between the big arrow and the little arrow, the big arrow does the big picture. The little arrow does a smaller group. Okay, so I just want to do that group. Um, let me show you a trick. Let's see, window, pathfinder. And I'm going to click this button, which is called Unite, and this button, which is called Merge. Merge, Unite. Look at that. It closes up the path. And I pick a nice red color. Uh-oh, I'm not seeing that. Okay, window, swatches. All right, let's pick a nice red, maybe that one. Very good. I like that. Looking cute. Looking cute so far. Personally, I would like to see a little bit more texture in this. So here we go. Let's go to Google. Oh. Let's go to watercolor. Let's go to images. Now, search tools. You want usage rights labeled for reuse. Okay, so any of these are, you can use them, which is great. Doesn't really matter which one you pick. I like this one because it's several different tones together. So I'm going to save picture as. Drag it to my documents folder. Save. Okay, so let's go back to Illustrator. Open. Let's find it. Okay. Control A. Control copy or Control C or Command C if you have a Mac. Control V or Command V. Now let's trace it to make it high res. Image trace. High fidelity. It's going to be thinking for a minute. It's technology for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Expand, very important. All right, this is really nice. I like this. All right, obviously it's covering my entire image. So I'm going to do now. This is a really cool shortcut. Shift or Control Shift or Command Shift. First, uh, first bracket, left bracket. Boom. Going in front of your image. I mean, going behind your image. Okay. I'm not really filling the red. I could be filling it later. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. All right. Let's just make this a little bit bigger. Now you can do Command uh, minus or Control minus to kind of see what you're doing. Now I want to get the words a little bit more popped out. So we're going to click on the background. Uh, control C, Control B or Command B. Now, that means I have two. Now, here you go. Window. Transparency. All right. Overlay. Nope. Multiply. Ooh, multiply. That's nice. That's real nice. That's real nice. Let me see it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what it would look like if it was like this. Oh, ooh. Okay. So I just rotated it. I really like how that's looking. 
And I just, again, okay, all of me loves all of you. Ooh, I like that. I don't even know what I would change, personally. I think that looks really nice. Okay. I feel like it needs some type of watercolor paper texture. So let's go over here to Google again. Let's do paper texture. And again, we're doing labeled for reuse. I really like that crinkly. Kind of want a water stain. Hmm. So many good choices. Okay, I like that water stain. Wait till it loads. Ooh, might be too much. I just want really something really subtle. Let's see. Save picture as. Downloads. Old paper. Okay. File open. Let's, uh, I don't know why. I'll, this is the one thing I don't like about Illustrator. You have to, like, open a new window. Command A, Control A, Control C, or Command C if you're on a Mac. Drag it to the top. Fill the page. You want to trace it so it's not low resolution. It's going to really matter. You're going to really see if you if you take things from Google, if you're not tracing them, the, the resolution is not going to be very good. So it's really good to trace them, make them high resolution, just for like a texture purpose. Unless you have a really high resolution image, like something you've taken or that, like a stock photo. But if you're just doing something for personal reasons, it's really good to um, trace it and make it high resolution. And obviously, because you're doing the, the highest quality, it's going to take forever. So, and I have a gaming Mac. I mean, I have a gaming computer, so. Okay, so expand. Always remember to expand. If not, it's not going to work out. All right. All right, so let me, uh, transparency, I want this to be like an overlay. Let's see how that looks. Ooh, like it, but let's see, multiply. Ooh, I like that. Now, I don't like it covering my words. Let's see, window, layers. Pull down the menu. Let's see. I want to drag this below my my text. Yes, that's what I want. I mm, I'm still not feeling it though. Soft white. Let's see that. Nope. I was really feeling it. Sometimes you really have to. Okay, and I'm just gonna click on it to the transparency down. Yes, to smidge. Just very subtle. Okay, I really like that. Very nice. Okay, so we're just going to save it. Export. Export as. You want to pull it down as a JPEG. Okay. Oh, always click on Use Artboards. If you don't, you're going to have some weird uh, layers in the background. So always, always click Use Artboards, Export. So that's just a, oh, I totally forgot to tell you. File, Document Color Mode, RGB. That's very important. Because if you do CMYK, it's going to look different. The colors might shift depending on what website you upload it to or what computer you look at. So always do RGB. Let's try this again. Export, Export As. JPEG, use artboards. Let's see, I'm just going to title it Love. Export, okay. I do the highest resolution possible because, ooh, 600 PPI, oh, you don't need that much, just, you know, 300 is fine. And then, okay, so there you go. So that's a really simple typography, handwritten, um, beginning level illustrator tutorial. So hopefully that helps answer some questions. Thank you very much. And this is Crystal Marshall from MarshallStudioPhotography.com.